Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. It is just about May 2019. Uh, I try to do one special video a week for you guys on my own time. Some of you think I get paid to do these videos. I actually pay to have somebody do them. So some of you appreciate and the others of you don't, then go away. But here's a real fun part of my job. I had a guy request and say, hey, can you show us some wiring methods and what it does with your job to see if I want to be an electrician? Here's the life of a service technician some days. Uh, today we are wiring electrical blinds and they're going to be low voltage 24 volt and uh, they're 120 volt primary fed. I'll show you another video about it. But here's the beginning process of this today. I am over a 14 foot garage. If I fall through this drywall, I'll probably be in the hospital. It's a very tall garage and it's a very narrow eave. Right below me here, <clears throat> here I'll show them. Here's the panel right there. Luckily, some guy gave me a bigger hole because he ran this 10-3. I can't say he did a great job running it, but he, he ran it for something a few years back. Um, but yeah, here's the tools for this job. You definitely need a long, rigid fish stick. My wife's been shoving that up. And then here's mechanics. Uh, I use these when I drop bolts in the bottom of an engine when I was working on my Honda years ago when I was an apprentice. So I use that once in a while to grab the fish stick or some rigid fish pliers just to get that that uh fish tape up or or the or the little sticks but i couldn't get my fish sticks down this way because you can see the eave is tight there's nails right here above my head so i'll definitely hit my head if i'm not careful and get a nail puncture which one time i did end up getting a little bit of a, a benign cyst from it years later uh, had to get that cut out so you got to be careful guys of your 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 work area here and you got to wear your mask, otherwise you're just going to breathe this crap all day. Sometimes we drop some doTERRA uh, drops in there, like breathe, just so you can feel like a eucalyptus, so it doesn't stink so bad from your breath and just in general from the, the insulation. But yeah, so guys, this is sometimes your life, and you got to have a real sturdy board, because one time I had a board I thought was sturdy and it broke, and I did go through the drywall, and it wasn't. This is a real beefy board. I keep this on my truck. If you've seen my videos, it fits right behind my milk crates, and this little piece is perfect for this kind of day because you do have to straddle sometimes this area um, but yeah so if you want to know wiring methods as your lifestyle this is some days my job uh, back up in here and hopefully we'll be hiring a guy in the next year to do some of this for me or help me out but again this is a very dangerous part of our job i'm not scared of getting electrocuted anymore i'm more scared of falling <laughs> so anyways guys i'll show you the rest of the video how this pulls together but yeah i mean this is sometimes my office i don't get to sit in a cushy chair and uh, listen to music and go to my break room and nuke my burrito. Thanks for joining us, guys.